You don't have much time left. You're leaving in an hour. I know. I'll go get ready. Very well then, Commander. You'll excuse me. Am I doing the right thing, Yui? Alright, so we did come the come the messenger mission last time. And I was I remember to sign my mission my crew this time. So we have our next mission. Next major story mission to go. Carefully get my legs up from the ottoman. And my kitty with me. And per usual, not on camera. Because uses up. There's not that much interface to spare here, unfortunately. Alright. Next map. I assume you're concerned about Mason Emperor G? Professor Yumi said he didn't think that anyone other than his grandfather could build a Mazinger. A great that exceeds the power of Mazinger Z, and an emperor even more powerful than that? Unbelievable. Inconceivable! So who could possibly have built it? Didn't, have, didn't it also have something to do with gutter radiation? With all that angel and space-time mess going on, we couldn't discuss it, but I think it's time to talk to see ya. Sure, we can do that, but not here. Why not? I made preparations for that discussion elsewhere. You have to have this discussion on the non-disco. Also, I wouldn't have to put on the funny animal suit. Don't ask. The building's rising up out of the water. What is that? The Science Fortress Laboratory? That laboratory only appeared a week ago, and now you're telling me another one exactly the same also exists? The floating laboratory must have been made by someone who knows about the science fortress laboratory beneath the Photonic Power Research Institute. What do you mean? I mean, that's also a science fortress laboratory. Insects inside that laboratory is someone who studied photonics under Juzo Kabuto, just like Professor Yumi. That person must be the one who made the great. Let's go, Koji. First, I need to take you there. Who could have possibly studied under my grandfather and created the Great Mazinger? That's a nice looking command center. It's good to see you, Koji. Mom! You're the one who made this laboratory in the crate? No, not exactly. Also, I have to apologize about something. By the way, you look really sinister. We? Koji. Dad? You sure have grown. Da da da! Koji Kabuto's parents not actually dead after all. Is it really you, Dad? It is me. This is my husband and the father to you and Shiro, which you should already know, Kenzo Kabuto. I thought you were driven to madness by the Kidora on Bardo Island, and then when you attacked Grandpa and Mom, Mom had to kill you. I couldn't die, not until I fulfilled my true mission. I learned of the existence of a most terrifying enemy, my Sine, via feedback from the Kidora that had infected me. But the only way I could fight back against that foe was to take myself back from the Kidora. To get rid of the Kidora inside me, I had to get rid of the majority of the body they had infected. So what I'm trying to say is I'm like totally cyborg now. How can you get rid of your body? 
My current body is almost entirely mechanical. Again, cyborg. You know... If they just included Ghost in the Shell in a Super Robot Wars game, um, this would actually, this exposition would actually be a lot less complicated to do. So you are a cyborg? Yes, that's what I'm trying to... Gordon Bennett, yes, I'm a cyborg, Koji. After a series of events, not quite a series of unfortunate events, because at no point was, um, was, um, what's his name? Uh, Neil Patrick Harris involved. I felt the shadow of Kenzo still looming over me. So I set on the journey to kill your father with my own, with my own hands before I could destroy the world under the will of the Kidora that controlled him. However, when I got here, all I found was the head of your father in a culture solution. In other words, that whole bit with, um, uh, Lord Genome's head in a jar from, um, uh, Gurren Lagann, that's a Mazinger reference. Long story short, while in that state, he's gathered the money, materials, and funds he needed to secretly build the Science Fortress Laboratory and the Great Mazinger. So, yes, he built this while he was a head in the jar. I feel like th this clinches that he is absolute that this guy is absolutely a spark. And if you don't know what that is, go read go Google Girl Genius Comics and read that. You'll thank me later. Now he is completely free of the curse of the Kidora and has his body back, even if it is mostly a machine. I was surprised too when I learned the truth from your father and met my brother who I thought was dead. I can't believe it! This is way, way too pulpy, even for this game. Together with your father, we attempted to stop Dr. Hell's plans with my senior's return, but only resulted in nothing but painful memories for you. I'm sorry for everything, Koji. I'm, I was only doing what I thought was best, but it ended up costing me everything. On the right side, I could do this. Check this out. Pop. Like, beep, my head rotates 360 degrees. Stop doing that, Dad. That's creepy. But yeah, I can. But still, I can see everything. <laughs> I feel like I should just like in the in the video just edit in that clip right from Toy Story right there. It's okay. You did what you had to do. Will you still call me Dad? Will you still do terrible puns and really silly jokes? Oh, yes. Then I, can, then I can call you Dad. Of course, I'm sure Shiro would be happy to know that you, are, that you are still alive. Now that I've mastered the art of Mazin power, all that's left is to use it to defeat Masine. That's not all. We're also going to need you to save the world. Well, that beating Masine would kind of go hand in hand with saving the world, I would think. Inspector Enko Kuji, what are you doing here? A long time no see, Koji. I was hired to work at the Science Fortress Laboratory by your old man. How's your work coming along? We finally selected our final members. Good things take time to do right. Members? That's right. The key. This is the key to saving all three dimensions. I see. So that's why the Mazin Emperor G started up all of a sudden. Exactly. There's still hope. Don't leave me hanging in the dark here. What are you guys ta talking about? Sorry, Koji. We have to keep that top secret until our research is completely finished. However, we know the portal to the new correct sentry dimension could open soon. We must get ready. Can I really trust you, Dad? I'll give you my word. Okay, then. I won't ask questions until your research is finished. In the meantime, we'll start getting ready for the journey to Iskandar. I'm... We're counting on you, Koji. The fate of these three dimensions lies within the Yamato and you all on a successful journey. True Science Force Laboratory. I'm glad you're safe, Dr. Inez. Somehow I have a feeling you're more concerned about the calculation unit than you were about me.
Perhaps. Let's still like a little recognition for traveling across dimensions so that I could be here to cheer you on. Thank you for for making the joke the necessary joke. That's all well and good. But did you actually did you <clears throat> start with this side? That's all well and good. Did you actually meet up with Denai dressed like that? Imagine me kind of flinging back my hair in a supermodel fashion. Hard look old clam. Oh, please, of course not. I know to present myself when the time calls for it. And right now, the time calls for me to be super glam. Anyway, for the time being, I've decided to keep the calculation unit in Axis keep it from falling into the wrong hands. I'm in charge of watching over it while it's there. Worst case scenario, we're prepared to boast and jump out of there with a calculation unit if we need to. When you say the wrong hands, I assume it means it'll be off limits to, off limits to Nagal too, no? Look, I'm just trying to do what I feel is right here, though it seems like I'm not coming across as such. If you want to know what is right for everyone, then why don't you just follow Maito's lead? No thanks, I'm not trying to be some sort of kind of hero here. But you at least had the proper sense to put on some decent clothes when you came to see us, am I right? He's bare chested with like a suit jacket over his bare chest. To show off as much muscles as possible while avoiding, well, avoiding a draft. If the temp, I suspect if the temperature was, was warm enough, he would just be going shirtless. If you can call those nice. Yeah, I, I don't get it. Well, at least the former captain here understands where I'm coming from. That's my only consolation. Forgive the bad service, ladies. Do you think you're in any position to say that? For now, all I know is the dimensional horizon connecting this world above to the holy Mitsuruki Empire is not looking good at all right now. Also, if you're looking for the beast, it's flexes over there. I brought a watermelon to smash with a bat with a with a baseball bat. It's flexes this big. We've told the citizens there has been a natural disaster to evacuate. They know the world is in danger. We've intentionally kept things vague about embryo. At least in this way, you'll have the resources and, ma and manpower you'll need in this Kandar, where, you're all, where you are all headed to. I suppose this makes sense. After all, this concerns both the Universal Century and the AD dimensions. However, until you have both the manpower and the tech to send in a sizable fleet, Rolanda Bell and the Nandisco will, will have to suffice. I'll leave you all to handle Anskandar. I'm going to find out where Embryo is and what this Exiv person is about, all about. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Also, give Banjo my apologies. Apologies? How out of character. Even Nergal couldn't find what they were looking for, so I feel like I probably should. Don't worry about that. I don't think he really expected you to pull it off. Zing! Come on, Yuri, I cut it out. Thank the former captain, eh? Thank you for the bitter yet effective encouragement. Alright, good luck out there. If the world still exists tomorrow, Nergal's ready to start expanding its business out into parallel dimensions. It always comes down to business. Business, 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 business. Numbers, 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 numbers. It's not necessarily a bad thing. I'll be here to help out when it happens. As a little seed money for that venture, I'm happy to contribute the funds for your journey to Eskandar. There's only five, uh, 500k, half a mil, but it should get you started. Extra cash for upgrades. What? The world is on the brink of destruction here and this is all we have to work with? How stingy could you be? Possibly be. We should be getting all of Nergal's assets for this. I mean, if the unit of the multiverse ends, it's not like you can spend it or anything. Hey now, let's not start talking crazy. Are you trying to bankrupt me? Are you going to take the are you willing to take the shirt off my back? Actually, on second thought, 
You can have the shirt off my back. No, don't put it back on. Put it back on. I'm counting on you guys to come back from Miss Kendo one piece after all. As long as the world doesn't end, I've to plan for the future, you know. That's why I'm still keeping my gym membership. Do what you will, but he has a point. Don't worry, he won't let you down. That's right. You still have to protect the people who call these two, or rather three, dimensions home. Thanks for coming, Mitsuhiko. I have a message for the world. I am a member of the Brave Express Corps, after all. I was a word from Yujiro, Yujiro Izumi, and, Z and Zichiro. I said to hold down this and include your concern while you are away, so just focus on what you need to do. Understood. You have to make this plan a success. For everyone's sake. By the way, I'm not the only one coming from Nouvelle, Tokyo City. Hi, Maito. Everyone's love interest is here. Sally, what are you doing here? I wanted to save the world. Up to the world, so I applied for the part-time position at Nergal. I wouldn't call this part-time as much as I'd call this, uh full-time contract. This Kandar is far, far beyond the galaxy. Who knows what dangers we'll face? I can't take you along on a mission like this. I mean, you being put in danger day after day after day and me having to rescue you? How can I... How can, what could I possibly do? Oh, wait, that we, we do this all the time. Never mind, it's fine. I'm going. I want to help the people of the world, the people close to me, and more than anything, I want to help you, Maito. And again, I'm pretty much in daily in in peril from grievous, dangerous threats to my life and limb, like every single day, causing you to have to save me. So, like, it's safer for me to be here near you than either for me to be in the city and not near you, or yeah. Sally, you can't be serious. Sally and I will assistance to Mitsuhiko and help out with the daily living tasks. Both Yujiro and I tried to explain to her so Dana's mission will be over and over again, but she said nothing is going to change her mind. I have to do this. Thank you, Sally. You made your decision, and I accept that. I promise you this. I'll do whatever it takes to protect the world and, this, and you, no matter what. Thank you, Maito. Joe, don't you something to say to Sally as well? I'm going to help Maito make this business a success too, won't you? At least it seems that way, yes. You look a lot more satisfied with how things are going now than you were the last time I saw you. Yeah, now we know who our enemy is. Remember, Joe, we're not here just as we exit. We're here to save the world. One of the same, one of the same. Or six of one half dozen of the other, depending on what your turn of race refers. Huh? Exit wants to destroy the world. We're not going to just stand by and let him. Will you try and stop us from reaching Iskandar? What are you doing here? Sorry to interrupt. Full frontal! Calm down now. I'm here with Minerva to provide some moral support. It feels so strange to be here talking with you like this with smiles on our faces. Never thought this day would come. It appears to make it possible to reality but the ability to make the impossible into reality appears to be a skill of humanity. I see you've quit wearing your mask. I no longer need it. I was thinking about wearing a pair of really dark sunglasses and changing my name to something vaguely Arabic instead. How does that sound? I mean, that, that, that's not something that Shire would do, right? I am who I am, and I'm here to support Minerva and to ponder the future of Earth and the universe. Well, you've certainly straightened out a bit. I'd also like to see Banniger. Where might he be? Oh, he's over in the other room. Also, Char would actually totally do the sunglasses thing. In fact, he did that. Literally. Very well. I would not want to be rude. Banniger, it's nice to see you. Long time to see, Audrey. Or, or should I not call you by that name anymore? No, by all means, please, by all means, let me be Audrey Byrne instead of Miner Minerva Zabi, at least when I'm with you. Perhaps are difficult with Neo Zeon, I know. Yes, but there are greater joys. 
who have finally achieved peace between Earth and space for one. There are so many who can't bear the thought of living in peace with Earth, but they will come around. And we will cover that story in the neck in the next um, Gundam OVA series, which had yet to be conceived when this game came out. That's why we must save the world. Vanegar, I'm trusting you to do just that. That's what that's what I'm saying I have to do. I promise I'll be back. I will save this world and bring your hope to fruition. Say, so are you the Z Gun the pilot I've been hearing about? Y yeah, that's me. Lieutenant Lane Aim. As of today, I'm officially a member of London Bell along with Penelope. Really? What's surprising, isn't it? The well, charges against London Bell were dropped and we've been integrated into back into the uh, Federation forces. Or to quote Star Trek VI, for uh, the Discovery Country, but once again, we've saved civilization as we know it. And the good news is, we're not, they're not going to prosecute. <laughs> or is it that Riddy is okay to come back as a former colleague, comrade, but only I am not allowed? No, it's not that. Well then, sir, today we are colleagues. Let's team up with my Penelope and your Z Gundam and get to work. What now? I was thinking of the battle back at Tokyo 3. I guess you're not the bad guy I thought you were. Give me a break. I'm just a soldier. Soldier does what a soldier does. I just fight to protect the people. That's all I need to know. My name's Hathaway Noah. It's a pleasure to meet you. But it's all mine, Hathaway. This is the Yamato's hangar, huh? Whoever who would have thought we'd ever see the inside of the ship that we fought against? Jared, you're a dick. But I caught my cut you a little sack. Gazin, you can go F off. My goodness, is that you, Mr. Yazin? The guy who murdered several members of the crew of um, the Argama in cold blood? Um, who was responsible for killing um, um, one of the pilots, um, the UG pilots from uh, like the major ones in um, the battle of uh, for the colony laser in the end of Zeta. Uh, which caused a new type psychic ripple that hit pretty much everybody, that got everyone, pretty much everybody, new type or not. What the? Are you here for revenge or something? What the hell is our security doing letting you on board the Yamato? Damn, Skippy, I appreciate everyone being like, yeah. Yazan can go, f can go f, f off. Yazin could go take a long walk, long space walk without a sp without a suit. Calm down. As of today, we're members of Londo Bell too. Yazin, I am not going to deploy you unless I have to. No way. Are you serious? Mission Discantar is going to require the cooperation of all of us. And also, there's a whole bunch of people for me to kill, because I'm a kind of violent psycho. Since the fighting amongst ourselves has ended, our next mission is to protect the, this world. You have a point there. You're right, this is no time for bickering. The world as we know it is on the verge of destruction. That's right, I'm looking forward to working with you all. Right back at you. Just remember... We're in charge around here. Yeah, this isn't like Shangri-La when you swooped in like you ran the place. And on multiple occasions tried to kidnap Judo's sister and hold her hostage in order to get the Gundam and the White Base. Or the Gundam and the Argama. Hmm, what's that? Ah, uh, not nothing. Let me show you around the ship. I'd like to keep my eye on you when I'm near when I'm when we're near sensitive areas forward to it. Hey, Jared, you should probably introduce yourself, too. 
uh, hate introductions. How am I not surprised? I just never thought this would actually happen. You and me both. The Full Frontal is a completely different person now. We're here to do what we can. So you want me to forget the past? We were at war. Also, considering you murdered both my parents in cold blood, I think I have as much cause to be thoroughly and absolutely livid at the idea of having to fight alongside you. So if I can bury the hatchet, so can you. As if that makes any difference. We both took countless lives in battle during that war. I shot down several of your Wang men, a couple of whom you were romantically interested in. You shot down several of mine and killed my parents. We can call this even for the sake of saving the Earth. Here we go. I killed many you love, but you killed my mother, Four, and Lieutenant Appley. You think that makes it any easier to forgive? I'm not saying I'm innocent. I'm saying we were simply in, we were in a time of war. That's why now, it's time of peace, I'm going to stop hating once and for all. I've gotten really, really zen after having that whole mind whammy thing um, with, uh, what's his face? Captain Miss Sirocco. Camille, I, otherwise nothing will ever change. I understand. I've actually understood for some time now. I thought, just thought if I didn't kill you and get my revenge, I could, I could never move on, that's all. But now we are all here together, fighting for the same cause. I don't even know how to live my life anymore. I don't know how I'm supposed to even face you. I'll try to clear your mind of any thoughts and focus on the task ahead. I can't. I'm not sure if that's possible. I do not plan to apologize for any of the things I have done. To me, I will say this. I am sorry for making fun of your name back then. That I will apologize for. Tenant, I'm also sorry for punching you in your punching you in your face there. Konami, you know you can just wait on Earth. I still can't understand why Leonard is trying to destroy the world. The only thing I could think of is his hatred for the world and for his past. But of his past. His mother's betrayal is a permanent hole in his heart that will not mend. If we should use the whisper for such a purpose, then I have to do whatever I can to stop it. But I mean, this isn't your responsibility. I don't know anything about the Sophia that Tessa was talking about, but I know she didn't sacrifice herself for some experiment of her own free will. I want to end the end cycle of sadness caused by the whisper to end once and for all. I'll do anything I can, help with battle tactics, doing chores, helping the mechanics, anything. All I know is that I'm going to Iskandar. But to learn to his face that for all he's tried to accomplish is ultimately for nothing. I understand. I don't understand. I don't think I can convince you otherwise. I will continue to fight to protect you then, as I always have done. Thank you. When we get back, let's finally fulfill our promise. Promise? What promise? N nothing? Never mind. Sasuke, being together with you is, more, is the most important thing to me right now. Even the 336,000 let your journey through the stars is not as scary as long as I'm with you. Oh, this is basically the lovey dovey couples bonding installment. Got like half an hour of this so far. I just missed that line. You know. Where do we begin? Your bland forces and Nergal Secret Service executed the extraction of Representative Alpha and Princess Marina with your infiltration into the Mitsurugi Empire. I am sorry. We're able to find those for the two who are being held captive by Embryo. They caught up in the dimensional horizon distortion? We believe that to be highly unlikely. Well then, where are they? Perhaps they're still together with Embryo. We will continue our search for them. Very well, please proceed. Uh, that Embryo, think he has a thing for princesses or something? I know, right? Our fight with him continues. We'll save those two when the time comes. Hmm. What's the matter, Hilda? I understand how Salia feels a little. Hilda, two being held by Prim Embryo, the Dragon Princess. They're all princesses. Dragon Princess? Hmm, she must be talking about Salamandine. What exactly are you two sulking about? I'm not sulking! If there's something to say, just say it. If I say it, you'll hate me. What? Come on. Angie, 
You are my prince. But Majestic Prince isn't in this game. What are you talking about? But you know so many actual princesses, not just that, but men too. I is she talking about me? Just a shut up, Tusk. Hilda, I had no idea. Oh, hey, they were, we're actually having some queer-coded content here. I know, it's strange for two women to be together, isn't it? Not strange at all. Isn't that what we've been fighting for all along? To break down those stereotypes, those nonsensical rules, what society says is normal, even if it makes no sense? Most of all, I don't want the space-time fusion to destroy the entire world as we know it. Or just the world in general. Angie, I'm sorry. Let's keep fighting, Hilda, for a world we can live in. Okay. All right, so I want you to be in that world with me. I will be. Um, so what about me? That's the real question. I'm sure Angie will look after both you and Hilda. I sure hope so. That's why I vow to protect you, Angie, no matter what. So, I haven't watched Cross Danji. Is Angie canonically bi? Or, um, queer code? Or is she, is she like me? But still, hey, queer, co queer coded text in this game. Don't know if it's that, that overt in the source material. But hey, it's here. Let's review the final procedures. First, the Alliance fleet will launch into space. Then the Yamato will fire its wave motion gun to create a rift in the dimensional horizon and execute a parallel boson jump to the MCC dimension. How do you expect to ensure our curse is set to the new current century dimension? We'll use the same method that we used to access the calculation unit. We'll assemble our will to get a raise to fuse with the target's parallel dimension. Get a raise? How will that work? Allow me to explain. And be thankful that and be thankful that I'm not having your get in the bunny suit in a bunny suit. As you as you already observed, get a raise are capable of spatio-temporal control. Utilize a desire for the Yamato crew to make it back home to control the getter rays and open a portal. Is that really possible? It is an application of the Yamato's auto-navigation. Interesting. I suppose the automatic navigation system itself is a mechanism for showing the destination of one's thoughts, depending on how you think of it. The destination of one's thoughts? That's an interesting way of looking at it. Hmm. Will Shin Getter be in charge of opening the interdimensional portal? No, I have something special prepared for that task. The final piece to the Allied Fleet's puzzle. You've studied Getter Rays too, right, Dr. Kabuto? Yes, it performs some work with Dr. Sautome, and taking his research materials and data for reference, just in case we might need it. Just in case, huh? There was an accident during one experiment that sent Tetsuya to the NCC dimension. That accident led to the development of this teleportation system. That now is our one true hope. What exactly are you referring to? I'm sorry, you'll excuse me, but I have to keep, be keeping that under wraps until the last minute. The enemies around who are after it, and we can't let them get to it. Understood. We're looking forward to the completion of this final hope, then. May it be soon. If we can just amp amplify the getter rays we have gathered thus far to the required value, we'll be finished. It's only a matter of time now. Hmm. Well, I told you not to bother me. Hey, come on, I thought we were comrades. I'm withdrawing from the Azumo plan. For all we've been through? Hmm. Behind the scenes of our mission to Eskandar was our secret plan to research outer space and facilitate the immigration to other planets. Depending on how things unfolded, we were even considering inciting a coup d'etat in an attempt to seize the Yamato. I never expected to be betrayed by one in the most vital position for the execution of this plan. Here's the plan is still underway, no? I can use my security position as a free pass to basically anywhere I want. Thus, I was able to contain the information we needed between Earth regarding Earth's final hope, the key to crossing between dimensions. You should have known that peace would be difficult to obtain, even with an alternate dimension Earth. We have nowhere else to run. All we can do is move forward. You sure have taken a positive attitude about things. 
It's not just what we've learned on this journey so far. Now with the, our goal of returning to the NCC dimension is in sight, I'll do all I can as a Yamato crew member. 40 minutes of dialogue here this far. Well, that was an utterly total projection. Now what? Oh, shh. Christ. Embryo is on the Yamato. I require your assistance. What the? What are you doing here? I normally don't bother with men, but I digress. The darkness you hold in your heart has no choice but to let me in. Ugh. Now, how about you tell me, him, every single detail that you know? Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, please like and subscribe. And also consider backing my Patreon. Patreon backers get episodes up to one week early of this show and any future Let's Plays. Also, please consider backing my coffee. Uh, toss me a few bucks also helps support the show, and it's not a monthly obligation or anything like that. <laughs>